Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Victoria's Creations. I'm so excited for you guys to meet Matthew. He's a local rapper in the area. He's going to be putting a whole bunch of his music throughout our video so you can hear it. And he's here today because he's never sung before and he wants to make his girlfriend a gift. So we're going to be making him a little like purse for her phone. I have a sample. So it's going to look like this. It's got a little pocket in the front and a little hook that he can hang it on. So let's jump right into getting this made. Okay, Matthew, so do you know what interfacing is? I do not, actually. Okay. So all of you who've been watching my channel, you all know what interfacing is. If you don't, let me just give you a quick explanation. So interfacing is a little fleece or material that you put in between the fabric that makes it stiffer so it stands on its own. So we're going to apply interfacing to the fabric now. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start with is our pocket pieces. Okay. And I will put a little PDF into the description so that you guys can print your own pattern because I actually self-drafted this. So there's no pattern for it. Okay. So the first thing you do is you take your interfacing and your two pieces. Right. And you flip your paste so it's right side down. You take your interfacing so that the sticky part okay. is on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay. Then you flip your pattern back over. Then you take your fabric on the other side and you place it so it's wrong side down. So you want your right sides together and your interfacing on the outside. Okay. And then we have to iron it. All right. Okay, so go ahead and iron that. Okay. Press this, just press it. Press this button. Or... No, you don't even press the button. Just put the iron just right down on it. It's going to be already hot for you. All right. Okay. Is that good? That's perfect. So I'll move that over. If you want to go ahead and just iron that bad boy for me real quick. Sure. Just so it's nice and flat when we sew it. Okay. Uh, watch the dog with my other hand here. <laughs> okay. okay. Iron that one. Okay. Now we're doing is we're just ironing our pieces so they're flat so we can sew with them. Okay. Perfect. Take this. All right. Pop it over here. The top. Don't touch it. Okay. So now we are going to start sewing our pocket. So what we're gonna do is we are going to stitch around the three edges, leaving the bottom open. You know how to use a sewing machine? I, uh, not really. I mean, I used one in seventh grade, but not since. Okay. So I will show you the basics if you want to switch spots with me. Sure. So we won't really get into the buttons. We don't really need the buttons right now. But your foot pedal is, the, is what's going to control your needle. So I'll take a fabric, a scrap piece. Okay. You're going to put it under it, and there's this little lever here to push down. And then all you have to do is push the pedal. All right. And then when you're done, you can pile it up, and then you are ready to move on. Okay. This button, the thick button, mm -hmm. it's going to knot the thread at the beginning and the end of your stitch. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this under here. You're going to line the edge of your machine up with the edge of the fabric. You're going to push the fix button, put your foot down a little bit, pick it up, and then start stitching. Alright. Okay. Go ahead and try. Alright. Let's get our lever down. Fix. Where were you going to I'm going that way, right? Nope, you're going towards you. Oh, towards me. Yep. The machine's going to move you forward. And then stop when you get to the end. All right. See, guys, this isn't so hard. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to pull up the lever. Okay. And you're going to turn it. And you kind of have to move the fabric along. So as you're sewing, okay. you're going to move the fabric so that this part of it sure. is at the edge of the fabric. Sure, sure. For, I, ju I just realized, like, for all your viewers who probably know crafts be way better than I do, which is probably all of them, this is probably really excruciating to watch. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure they're all happy that we're teaching somebody something new. I think I missed some of the outside here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up. There's a little notch here. It has like a uh, razor on it. Mm -hmm. Just 
flick it. So we're going to put it back over here. So now because we're starting a new stitch, we have to fix it. Okay. So go ahead and start again. Went too far off the edge the first time. It but happens. That's me. I like to live on the edge. <laughs> This stitch is going to be like going every which way. Sure, your girlfriend will still love it. Okay, so now we went a little too far, so we're going to switch it back. So we're going to turn it and pivot it. So we're going to okay. push it so the needle stays in the fabric. Okay. And we're just going to turn it. All right, there we go. And stitch down. Nice. All right. So now you want to hit the fix button and go ahead and put your foot on the pedal. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Yep. So now, now you can pick up that lever. Oh, take your foot off the pedal. Yep. There you go. It's down more. Yep. So now pull it out and rip the thread off with that little piece behind the machine. Right there. Yep. Okay. So that's the beginning of our pocket. So now we're ready to turn it right side out. So we're just going to grab it and flip it. And push the corners out with your fingers. Okay, that's the beginning of a pocket. So now we're ready to stitch the pocket to the front of the bag. So go ahead, we're going to take one of our larger square pieces. And we're going to stitch the pocket in the middle on the bottom. So we're going to just stitch up around here, through here, down here. Do you think you're brave enough to do a zigzag stitch? Or do you want to stick with a straight stitch? I mean, I've pretty much been doing zigzag stitches anyways, I think. So, okay. me as well. So to change it to a zigzag stitch, we're just going to put it on the third mode. Which is going to give us a zigzag. Okay. So now we're going to take it and put it back under the machine. And you want to stitch on the end, and then when you get to here, put the needle down, pivot it, get to here, put the needle down, pivot it, and go around again. Okay. So now it's going to zigzag. All right, so so do I fix it? Or... Yep. Okay. <clears throat> See how this goes. said yep okay so fix it okay. like that yep you keep putting uh no don't pivot yet just go ahead and put your foot down so that you end your stitch okay all right now we're gonna pull it out of the machine so foot off the thing okay we're gonna flip this because we don't want to stitch the pocket close right. sorry i should have told you that i see so now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side okay but now you're just lining on with the opposite side of the fabric. All right, I got gotcha. you. Fix. See, so guys, I'm getting the hang of this. Yep, so go ahead and hit fix, and then let the needle go down about three times. Okay, and then pull it out of there. So pick up the lever, and pull it out from underneath, and cut your thread. Oops. Okay, so that is our pocket. And we are just going to baste stitch the bottom here. 
So what a base stitch is, is it just, it's a, like a, it's called a stay stitch. Okay. It's going to keep the fabric in place, so when we stitch the rest, it doesn't move, but it really has no other purpose. All right. So we're going to put this back on zero, and we're going to make the longest stitch we have. And then you don't have to do any fixing with this, so okay. we don't care about this stitch. You are just going to stitch from there to there. Okay. So pick the lever up and cut the thread. Okay, so we have our front panel, which if you look at my other one, is this piece right here. It'll look better on his because his has contrast fabrics. So now we're gonna work on the rest of the outside of it. So we're gonna go to our side pieces. So you should cut four of them out. So we got two side pieces. We're going to put right sides together. We're going to line them up like this. Okay. And we're just gonna stitch there. So you are going to do the fix on this one. Okay. So just put it back to a normal stitch. So fix and sew to the end. Seven, one, six. So now we got our panel piece on there. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right. So grab our other piece, line it up, and there you go. Ton of uh, extraneous threads. It's okay. We're gonna cut all those off at the end. So there we have our sides. So now we're gonna attach the back. So you're gonna grab your other bigger piece, and we are just going to stitch the sides onto the back.
So now he's just putting on the bottom of the bag, just like he did on the previous bag. It's a funny story about pins, kind of. I was making a, much like, much like Victoria, I'm a cosplayer, and I was making a Carnage costume for Halloween, Carnage the Spider-Man character, and uh, <clears throat> I was trying to make the mask, and I had my girlfriend, Lily, over to help me. I wasn't sure how to get the eyepieces down because this was still very early when I was cosplaying and didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, so what I, I couldn't, but I couldn't get the eyepieces on. So what I ended up doing was I just cut them out of fabric in the shape that they were. And I had, and I put the mask on, and I had Lily to try and pin the eyepieces on my actual face. Oh no. Yeah, that could have ended all kinds of bad ways, but it didn't. But That's that was good. the single scariest experience I've ever had. <laughs> well, now you know a sewer, so you can just bring your costume over here. Yeah. Lily likes to knit. She knits, like, blankets and scarves and stuff. If you guys would like me to try to get Lily on a future video, please leave a comment and let me know. Absolutely. You would love her. You, you met her. She was at the cosplay party. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I missed a pin. It's okay. Okay. So now I'll just stitch from there to there. All right. Just do one pin. Okay. All right. What the hell is that? Your old dress shirt? Oh, hot crap. Oh, this is awesome. Pull your dress shirt for a Fix. Pedal. stuck underneath the thing, underneath the guard. It's okay. Look at that. Perfect time to run out of bobbin thread. I know you guys hate it when you're sewing and your bobbin runs out mid-stitch. Uh, we, we ran out. Yep, but that's okay. We have more. You guys know how to fill in a bobbin. So all you do is this little hole. Go to the hole. All right. Hole. This gets pushed down. We just forgot to push this up. Oh, I see. Okay, so now we have our bag with the interfacing done. So we're going to turn it out. 
poking the corners out. So there's that part of it. So now we're gonna go grab a little piece of ribbon for our hook, and then we're going to stitch these together. I thought we were friends now. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our bags, make it inside out again, take our other bag, and we're gonna put it inside of our bag that is inside out. You guys can't see it off camera, but Victoria's dog is giving me the death stare right now. He's a rescue. <laughs> I thought we were friends. I was petting you just five minutes ago. This is like a storyline. This is like a subplot of the video, me trying to befriend your dog. Can you stop? He's, in, he's not on board. <clears throat> So I've pinned all along the top. I took my little piece of ribbon and I fold it down in between there. So when we sew across it and we flip it out, it'll be a little hook. So I'm going to have Matthew sew around this, leaving a small spot open for us to turn it. So we've stitched all the way around and we left our opening. Now we're just going to turn it. So with that little opening, we're just going to pretty much shove the bag through it. All right. And if you stick your finger in that opening, you're going to push out your corners. Look at that. And then just take the inside one and you're just going to fold it into the bag to turn it into a purse. And fold in your opening. I'll leave a pin. So you have your little hook there, and all we're gonna do now is a little zigzag stitch across the top to enclose our opening, and then we're done. Okay, Matt. So there is your little bag for your girlfriend to hang in her car or awesome. anywhere. Uh, you think she'll like it? Oh yeah, I think she'll love it. Uh, it'd be a makes a perfect Christmas gift for her. And she loves Christmas and this thing has Christmas written all over it. Yeah, we, we did a lot in my channel. My viewers know my channel very well. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about your channel? Well, my channel, uh, I talk about, I talk a lot about music. I do album reviews, I do song reactions. I also upload my own music videos for my own original music. So, and I also talk about sports sometimes. It's football season and I love to talk about football, so. I'll do a video every now and again talking about the Bills and uh, uh, and other football-related things. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, uh, I would encourage you to head on over to my channel and uh, subscribe and become a part of our little family that we got building on over there. And let this be a lesson to anybody, any of you newer sewers out there who are new to her channel. If I can learn how to do this stuff, you absolutely can. So he hasn't sewn since seventh grade. That is and correct. He killed that bag. So sewing is for everyone, not just kids, not just older people. Everyone can do it. It's a dying art, and I really think more and more people should learn it. It shouldn't only be women. It should be men, women, children, everyone. We need to get back to the basics and learn how to do these things on our own. So if you like this video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you'd want to see in videos. And if you'd be interested in a knitting video with Lily, his girlfriend, definitely leave that in the comments because I don't knit. So that'd be something cool for the channel. Yes, yes, please. But thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.